Hello friends, welcome to this YouTube channel. Today we shall solve a couple of numerical problems on three phase induction motors. By solving these problems, we shall learn how to determine slip, speed, rotor current corresponding to maximum torque of a three phase induction motor. We shall also learn how to determine different torque ratios of a three phase induction motor. Let us go through some important expressions in context to three phase induction motors, some of which we shall use today to solve the numerical problems. When three phase AC excitation is applied to the stator of a three phase induction motor, a magnetic field is produced which rotates at synchronous speed. NS equals to 120 F by P where F is the supply frequency and P is the number of poles of the machine. When rotor is placed inside the stator, rotor conductors are subjected to a time varying magnetic field and an EMF gets induced in the rotor conductors. As the rotor conductors are short circuited, current flows through them and a magnetic field owing to this rotor current is set up. Due to interaction between stator and rotor magnetic fields, rotor starts rotating and it speeds up to near synchronous speed. We define slip S equals to NS minus NR divided by NS where NR is the actual rotor speed. Expression for rotor current I2 equals to E2 by Z2 that is equal to S times E2S divided by root over R2 square plus S square X2S square where E2S is the rotor induced EMF per phase at standstill condition, R2 is the rotor resistance per phase and X2S is the rotor standstill reactance per phase. Expression for Rotor power factor cos phi 2 equals to R2 divided by root over R2 square plus A square X2 A square. Expression for full load torque TFL equals to K SFL R2 E2 A square divided by R2 square plus SFL square X2 A square. Where K is a constant which is equal to 3 divided by 2 pi ns by 60. By putting SFL equals to 1, we get expression for starting torque. TST equals to K up to E2S square divided by R2 square plus X2A square. By differentiating expression for full load torque with respect to slip, we get expression for maximum torque. T max equals to K to S square divided by 2 X to S. Slip corresponding to maximum torque SM equals to R2 divided by X to S. Rotor current corresponding to maximum torque I2 M equals to SM E2S divided by root over R2 square plus SM square X2S square. Expression for ratio of full load torque to maximum torque TFL is to T max equals to twice SFL SM divided by SFL square plus SM square. Ratio of starting torque to maximum torque TST is to T max equals to 2 SM divided by 1 plus SM square. Problem number 1. A 4 pole 50 hertz 3 phase induction motor has rotor resistance of 0 0.21 ohm and standstill reactance of 0 0.7 ohm per phase. We have to determine the speed at which maximum torque is developed. Let us first jot down the given data. Supply frequency F equals to 50 hertz. Number of poles P equals to 4. 
rotor resistance per phase R2 equals to 0 0.21 ohm. Rotor standstill reactance per phase X2S equals to 0 0.7 ohm. Let us first calculate synchronous speed of this motor. NS equals to 120F by P. Using values we get 120 into 50 divided by 4. That gives us 1500 RPM. Now we shall determine slip corresponding to maximum torque. SM equals to R2 divided by X2S. That is equal to 0 0.21 divided by 0 0.7. That gives us 0 0.3 or 30 percent. Speed corresponding to maximum torque Nm equals to Ns into 1 minus Sm. Using values we get 1500 into 1 minus 0 0.3 that gives us 1050 RPM. Problem number 2. A three phase star connected induction motor at standstill has 120 volt induced between its slip ring terminals. The rotor winding is star connected and has resistance and standstill reactance of 0 0.25 ohm and 2 ohm per phase respectively. We have to determine the slip and the rotor current when the rotor develops maximum torque. Let us first jot down the given data. Since the rotor is star connected, rotor standstill voltage per phase E2S equals to 120 by root 3 volts. Rotor resistance per phase R2 equals to 0 0.25 ohm. Rotor standstill reactance per phase X2S equals to 2 ohm. Now we shall determine slip corresponding to maximum torque. SM equals to R2 divided by X2S. Using values we get 0 0.25 divided by 2. That gives us 0 0.125 or 12.5%. Expression for rotor current corresponding to maximum torque I2M equals to E2S divided by root over R2 by SM whole square plus X2S square. Using values we get 120 by root 3 divided by root over 0 0.25 by 0 0.125 whole square plus 2 square. That gives us 24 0.4949 ampere. Problem number 3. An 8 pole 50 hertz 3 phase induction motor has a full load slip of 4%. The rotor resistance is 0 0.001 ohm and standstill reactance is 0 0.005 ohm per phase. We have to determine the ratio of maximum to full load torque and the speed at which the maximum torque occurs. Let us first jot down the given data. Supply frequency F equals to 50 Hz. Number of poles P equals to 8. Slip at full load SFL equals to 4%. That is equal to 0 0.04. Rotor resistance per phase R2 equals to 0 0.001 ohm. Rotor standstill reactance per phase X2S equals to 0 0.005 ohm. Let us now calculate synchronous speed of this motor. NS equals to 120F by P. Using values we get 120 into 50 divided by 8. That gives us 750 RPM. Now we shall determine slip corresponding to maximum torque. SM equals to R2 divided by 
x to s using values we get 0.001 divided by 0.005 that gives us 0.2 or 20 percent speed corresponding to maximum torque nm equals to ns into 1 minus sm that is equal to 750 into 1 minus 0 0.2 that gives us 600 rpm expression for ratio of maximum torque to full load torque t max is to tfl equals to sfl square plus sm square divided by 2 sfl into sm using values we get 0 0.04 square plus 0 0.2 square divided by 2 into 0 0.04 into 0 0.2 that gives us 2.6 is to 1. Problem number 4. A 4 pole 50 hertz 3 phase induction motor has rotor resistance per phase of 0 0.04 ohm. The maximum torque occurs at a speed of 1200 rpm. We have to determine the starting torque as a percentage of maximum torque. Let us first jot down the given data. Supply frequency F equals to 50 Hz. Number of poles of this machine P equals to 4. Rotor resistance per phase R2 equals to 0 0.04 ohm. Speed corresponding to maximum torque Nm equals to 1200 rpm. Let us first calculate synchronous speed of this motor. Ns equals to 120 F by P. That is equal to 120 into 50 divided by 4. That gives us 1500 rpm. Now we shall determine slip corresponding to maximum torque. Sm equals to Ns minus Nm divided by Ns. Using values we get 1500 minus 1200 divided by 1500. That gives us 0 0.2 or 20%. Expression for ratio of starting torque to maximum torque TST is to T max equals to twice SM divided by 1 plus SM square. Using value of SM we get 2 into 0 0.2 divided by 1 plus 0 0.2 square that gives us 0 0.3846 is to 1. Therefore, we can conclude that starting torque is 38.46% of the maximum torque. Problem number 5. A 6 pole 50 hertz 3 phase induction motor has rotor resistance and standstill reactance per phase of 0 0.02 ohm and 0 0.1 ohm respectively. We have to determine the speed at which torque will be maximum. We also have to determine the value of the external resistance per phase to produce two-third of the maximum torque at starting. Let us first jot down the given data. Supply frequency F equals to 50 Hz. Number of poles P equals to 6. Rotor resistance per phase R2 equals to 0 0.02 ohm. Rotor standstill reactance per phase X2S equals to 0 0.1 ohm. Ratio of starting torque to maximum torque TST is to Tmax equals to 2 is to 3. Let us first calculate Synchronous speed of this motor. Ns equals to 120 F by P. That is equal to 120 into 50 divided by 6. That gives us 1000 RPM. 
slip corresponding to maximum torque SM equals to R2 divided by X2S. Using values we get 0.02 divided by 0.1 that gives us 0.2 or 20 percent. Speed corresponding to maximum torque NM equals to NS into 1 minus SM. Using values we get 1000 into 1 minus 0.2 that gives us 800 RPM. Let us assume the slip corresponding to maximum torque be SM dash after insertion of external resistance in the rotor. The expression for ratio of starting torque to maximum torque TST is to T max equals to 2 SM dash divided by 1 plus SM dash square. That is equal to 2 is to 3. Solving this equation we get SM dash equals to 0 0.382. That is equal to R2 plus R external divided by X2S. Or R2 plus R external equals to 0 0.382 X2S. Putting value of X2S we get 0 0.382 into 0 0.1 that gives us 0 0.0382. Therefore expression for external resistance R external equals to 0 0.0382 minus R2. Using value of R2 we get 0 0.0382 minus 0 0.02 that gives us 0 0.0182 ohm. So today we have solved a couple of numerical problems on three phase induction motors. By solving these problems we have learnt how to determine slip, speed, rotor current corresponding to maximum torque of a three phase induction motor. We have also learned how to determine different torque ratios for a three phase induction motor. Hope this lecture has been useful for you. If you have any suggestion or question, please drop it in the comment section below. If you have liked this video, give it a thumbs up and share it with your friends. Thank you.